Hello everybody, Nathan here again, and we're looking at some of the latest updates that I have made to my survival minigame here. Mini, why did I call it minigame? Subgame. Okay, so I think in the last video we looked at how the food wasn't spoiling, or I shouldn't say we actually looked at it because didn't, I didn't figure out what was going wrong, but... I kind of was looking into it, messing around with some stuff. Again, I'm pretty sure I covered that in the video. If I didn't, quick refresher. Um, meat should spoil when it's on the ground. Grass should spoil when it's on the ground. Yada, 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 yada. Well, I figured out why it's not. And unfortunately, I don't know how to... I don't know how to make it. There we go. Don't know how to make it work. I think that was raw meat. Um, so basically... The code for this, whoa, yeah, that was raw meat. Yeah, see, so the raw meat works. So things on ground do work. Okay, and I kind of thought they would. All right, well, that that's a step, a step in the right direction. I just got to figure out how to make this stuff in inventory rot as it should. Okay, so basically, things are supposed to spoil as they sit out. And I've got this table here, which gives you the originals, the replacements, the time in seconds it should take before it spoils, um, then the chance, because this is all running off of a, a clock. So if I picked up some raw steak at 50 seconds, in 10 seconds it's going to spoil. So pretty much... I put a chance on these, and 10 is probably really too low. But we have a chance here of how likely it is for that food to actually spoil. Because, again, you know, how the, how the clock works, it would just be unfair to make it all spoil instantly. Because if you happen to be picking it up right before that, well, tough for you because it all just spoils. So we have that. And basically I did, I have it running through this table here and changing all of these individual parts into variables. And we've got a function here. Well, this function is part of this for loop. The for starts here, ends at the very bottom. Unfortunately, it's a function of spoil meat. So it cycles through the three strings that I have in there, and it changes the original here, which the last one in line is default grass, and changes it to the more fire dried grass. So anything that calls the function spoil meat is only changing the grass. It's not doing the raw or cooked steaks, which is unfortunate because that function is used. Here we go for the stored meat. Um, it just uses the spoil meat function, which means anything stored, which would be in player inventory, I believe, or no, actually says health. So this would only be stuff in chests. The only thing in chests that'll ever rot is grass. And the held meat uses the spoil meat function. So the only thing in player inventory that'll ever spoil is the grass. Now the stuff on ground, because that uses an ABM, I don't. I didn't write this code. This was Wolf's dad, I guess. It's from 2012, so maybe I should just rewrite the code. I don't know. But the ABMs are actually using the original and replacement. So the ABMs work. So the meat on the ground or grass or whatever on ground and in water, those work just fine. But stuff that's in player inventory, that doesn't work. So what I basically need to do is take this function and pass the original and replacement variables to the function or have it, how do I explain this? Have it so this function looks for two variables. And then when I call the function in these two specific ABMs here, pass those variables onto it. So when the function's called, it's looking for a replacement and original from right here. And then I can just make this loop through with the for statements and I think make it work. So 
hopefully that wasn't too super confusing for anybody. Um, I know it's confusing for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to work. I think I should, though. All right, let's look at one of the new things I've added. Wait, what? Oh. Give me food. Banana. Yuppers, we got bananas. Unfortunately, yeah, when you place them, they look kind of stupid because they're crisscrossed. But we do have the bananas. Bananas heal a little bit of health and fill a little bit of hydration. Uh, not too much, though. Because bananas really don't. And apples either. Um, so yeah, I added that in. I have yet to make the new textures for the bushes here. As those are not displaying as they should. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're displaying exactly as they should. Because I haven't made new textures for them yet. But I've got to do new textures that fit in with my style. And are in the... in the 32 by 32 resolution. So that honestly is about the only changes that I implemented. Um, I looked into doing the trees, but I'm telling you, trees look super confusing. Super, super, super confusing. Like I have no idea. I have to, I'll probably um, either use plant slib or something for more trees and figure out trees that way. I know we, I shouldn't say we, um, the devs just added, what was it acacia, I want to say, and pine trees to default game. And because of that, those two were pulled out of plant slib and more trees. So I'm going to clone the, no, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull the latest changes for the default game and see how that's done. Because I'm really hoping I can pretty much just take this tree here, you know, the definition for this tree, because obviously they're all a little different, and just change it up and make an apple tree, a pear tree. Um, bananas shouldn't really grow on a tree like this. That should be um, coconut, not coconut tree, palm tree, I believe. I haven't seen any of those, actually. But I know they're in here, because I've seen them in other games and on servers. So I should be take the coconut tree and just, instead of coconuts, put bananas on it. And do that. So that's cool. Um, I have not yet, but this is coming up shortly. Oh, what do I want to do? We go to inventory. Wait. Um, maybe in this chest I have some. Yeah, I've got burnt out torches. So let's grab those. We'll grab... Well, the bird's nest won't even drop. That's just my random we got. We've got this. Um, I'm going to change groups on some stuff here. So dried grass, the nesting materials, burnt out torches. And I think there's one other thing. Oh, charcoal. Charcoal, too, I'm going to add. I'm going to add all those to the group kindling. And then I'm going to rewrite the recipes for fires for like the just campfires to use kindling as a group so you'll get to use any of these items and then i'm also going to change their drops when you dig them you won't actually ever get a fire back from a fire when you dig it you will just get kindling if it's one that has the stone surrounding it i'm going to have you get gravel back and then the I don't know if I want to do charcoal. Charcoal seems like it's too... I might just do like a new one like charred wood and have the fires drop that and then that'll be in the kindling group as well so you can use that for other things. And the charred wood also... Do I have a bucket? I felt I had a bucket. But I don't. I could have sworn I had a bucket. Um, I'm going to make a recipe with charred wood and a bucket of water which will give you a bucket of lye. And lye you're going to use for turning animal skins into leather. So you won't be able to just kill an animal and use its leather right away. You will have to tan its hide with lye to make material that you can use for making clothing. Which 
you know, makes it a little more realistic. I just keep walking back and forth because I want this this ground to all turn into this dark path, which it's just not doing. Uh, I've got to tweak this. I really need to get this one done before the next update video because I hate these textures so much. It just looks miserable. I'm thinking of changing this weird tan to just like a dirt color. I don't understand why. I mean, it should be packed dirt, so maybe... Maybe make it a little darker and pull out the color differences in it. Um, squash the satur... Would that be saturation? I think so, to make it a little more um, consistent in color. Actually, something like this, but just much darker, would work well. And then, because we are using this map gen, I do need to change the code for these trails here because it's only doing it on the normal grass here on sand and i think it does on dirt i don't know i think it does on dirt but i'm not even positive on that and obviously we have yeah it does it does it on dirt makes it dry which actually that works that works pretty well so maybe I'll have it just change this to be dirt, and then the dirt will get packed as you walk over it more. So that work, it does work. Um, but yeah, there's new nodes that the map gen adds, and that more plants adds. We've got default, um, what is it here? This is wood soils, grass with leaves, grass with leaves, grass with leaves one, this is grass with leaves one, that's grass with leaves two. Wait, how can these two be the same? These look totally different. That's weird. But anyways, there's all these new soil types. There's... That's from the more plants. The... Uh, river gen that I'm using, that adds a... What is it? Clayey soil and sandy soil, I want to say it is. Um, yeah, sandy. Dirt sandy. And I want to say there's a dirt clayey. So I have to add all of these to that, which that one I think does just use a looping list so that should be super easy and then I've just got to get the new textures up and running for that so not really too much to show you guys in the way of actual updates here um, kind of more just things I'm gonna be implementing we'll get those popped in here as soon as possible and then have another video next week showing you guys some of the new updates improvements and then pretty soon, I'll be throwing the code up on GitHub so you guys can download and play and give me feedback and tell me it's a piece of garbage and all that good stuff. And then I can, you know, make improvements so you don't think it's garbage anymore. But yeah, that is that. That's where we're at. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week with another update.